My name's Leora Ballen. I'm a speech pathologist with Plumtree. In my work, I provide support to children with a disability and their families. And many of the children that I work with have difficulties understanding speech or speaking clearly. And some of the children that I work with don't have verbal speech or may have minimal verbal speech. And I work with families to support alternative communication methods. Uh, so a child who is using some signs to communicate, signs taken from Australian Sign Language, um, is using an alternative communication method. A child who is using a picture board with um, picture communication symbols or computer technologies uh, to communicate is using an alternative communication method. And there are a range of alternative communication methods, but the aim of all of these methods is to enhance existing speech or to provide an alternative for speech when a child hasn't started talking yet or when speech is not developing. All children should be able to access story time regardless of having communication difficulties. But what we see is that many children who do have communication difficulties have a qualitatively different experience of story time. So a really important question then is how you can incorporate these different methods of communication um, in your story time activities in your library. So let me talk a little now about different modes of communication that children can be um, taught in the absence of having verbal speech. As I talk through these different modes of communication, do remember that um, Children who are typically developing can also benefit from the input of these alternative modes of communication and in fact can really enjoy engaging with these different modes of communication. So Chloe, we're going to read a book. This is the sign for book. Can you show me how you do that? I've been book. Yeah. A book. We're going to read Brown Bear. Brown Bear, what do you see? What do you see? Let's have a look at the first page. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. A red bird. That's a sign for bird. Can you try that? Bird. Great work. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck. That's a sign for duck too. Looking at me. Looking at me. This is a sign for me. Me. Great work. Colin, would you like to do more or are you finished? This is a sign for more. Can you try that? More. Great work more. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse, a blue horse. Oh, well done, that's a tricky one. A blue horse looking at me, looking at me. Do you want to do more or are you finished? You want to do more? Yeah, let's do some more. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog. That's funny. Green frog looking at me. Green frog. That's the sign for frog. Now we're going to finish the story there. Another example of a, a communication system is that of a communication board. Here are two communication boards. They have pictures. These can also be used to communicate. So I could ask a child, do you want to read? Do you want to read some more? Or have we finished? Are we all done? A, um, a communication app 
on a tablet is uh, a really popular high-tech uh, choice nowadays. We can use this in very much the same way that we would use a, um, a picture-based communication board. I can use this uh, communication system to ask or to say the same sorts of sentences um, for which I've given examples already. Do you? You. Do you want? Want. Do you want to read? Would you like? More. Some more. Or have you finished? Finished. Have you finished? What you'll have seen is that all of these uh, alternative communication systems use symbols to represent words and concepts. So let me give you some examples. I'm going to model using a communication app on the iPad while I'm reading uh, this book, Brown Bear, Brown Bear. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? What? What? What do you, you see? Brown bear, brown bear. What? What? Do you? You. What do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. I? I. I see a red bird looking at me. But you could go on. Using the communication system, while also reading, reading the book. We can also talk about the act of reading. Um, you know, we, we talk about reading. We, we tell children that we want to read or we ask the question, do you want to read? We might say, let's read, or we might go to look for a book. Um, now I'll just give you um, some examples of, of things that we might say um, while talking about the activity of storybook reading um, and at the same time modeling and using keyword signs. So what are some examples? For example, I could ask a child what they wanted to read. What do you want to read? I can ask a child if they liked the book. Did you like, this is like, did you like the book? Did you like it? I could ask a child to have some help in choosing a book. Can you help? This is a sign for help. Can you help me? Or do you need help to get the book? So we can also talk about the actual act of, um, of reading and at the same time use whatever communication system that child is, is learning to use to communicate. Reading books sparks creativity. It, it sparks the imagination. It's a way that children can learn about their world, can learn about their culture and the cultures of other people. Book reading uh, provides a natural context for language and literacy learning for young children. In reading, adults can provide children with opportunities to develop language, um, to develop comprehension skills, and to develop those early uh, pre-literacy skills. Story time um, is thus, is so popular and, and so useful for young children.